Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is a nasty day out there. It's probably in the upper 40s, very low 50s, and it has just been torrentially downpouring all day. It called for 100% rain. They were right. It's literally going sideways right now, and you'll probably hear it because it is slamming against the house, the windows, everything, and it's pretty loud. Okay. That being said, I did not want to do anything today because I'm whooped from all the driving, not looking forward to the drive up to Maryland tomorrow, but I like I have to. So I got some day job stuff that came out today that is just going to be a nightmare and that's going to take up the next two weeks pretty much constantly. So I got to have to deal with that too. Otherwise. <laughs> No more day job talk. So I have been sitting here contemplating a couple of things. One, when I went out this weekend for Easter to the mother-in-laws, I took both this A7 IV and I took the A7C with me and started to realize very quickly that I don't need the A7C because I use the A7R4 for all my pictures and I'm so used to it and I like it and it's amazing and I love the 61 megapixels and I never thought that I would because I remember where I used to rant about the fact nobody needs 61 megapixels. Well, then I got into birding and realized, okay, yeah, it's great to have. In fact, can't do without it. Even to the point where I, if I try to use the a7 IV with its 33 megapixels, I don't like it. I prefer the 61 megapixels on my R4. So the only way I would get another camera is if it were or the A7 R5 and they were able to take care of all the stuff on the R4 that isn't bad, but would be nice to have. So, okay. So I ended up thinking to myself as I was trying to take pictures of birds that it is just nowhere near the camera that you need for that kind of stuff outside, at least for me, that I need. I don't want to say you because then people will have a hissy fit that I just don't know what I'm doing. So I made up my mind while I was there that, you know what? I'm forcing myself to use this camera because I have it and because MPB didn't offer me enough for it, but I'm getting rid of this thing. So to make sure that I did that, I posted in the A7C group that I belong to on Facebook that I indeed was going to sell that and the 40 millimeter F2.5 lens that I had because I got that to be with the A7C for street photography and then I don't use it. So I was like, all right, I'm posting it. I'm going to put it up there. And almost immediately I had people asking me about both pieces and I let them know that, Hey, I'm on the road. As soon as I get back tomorrow night, which was last night, I'll do a proper posting. So I took the pictures properly, did everything, created the, the two ads, posted them, but they went into review and I didn't know how long that was going to take. So I actually, just individually reached out to the two people that, that asked me one about the camera, one about the lens. Long story short, guys, I don't need to belabor it. I sold the A7C like immediately, especially when he found out that there were only 260 shutter clicks on it. And I said, look, it's so low because I didn't use that camera for pictures. I used it for filming. He jumped on it. The deal's done. I packed it up and shipped it off today. As far as the lens goes, it's now been 24 hours and it still hasn't left review. So I think I'm going to take it down and I'll just keep the lens. I didn't need to sell it. I just thought maybe it might go if somebody bought the camera and decided that they liked the lens too. And the guy that I sold the camera to was like, nah, I don't really need it. So that was that. So it went back into the humidifier. I always call it the humidifier, but it went back into the case, the humidity controlled case. And that's that. The other thing I realized when I was there, and I was taking pictures because I brought the 70 to 200 with me and I was like, oh, that's right. I got a step up ring. I'll put the step up ring on and then I can just take off the ND filter, the variable ND filter system that I have and I'll put it on there because it was just so bright. And then I found out that, wait a minute, this is 77 millimeters and my step up ring is a 72 to 82. What the hell? I thought I bought something. So it's a good thing dumb monkey didn't immediately go online and then buy a, a step up thing because when I got home, look what I found. It's a 77 to 82 millimeter step up ring. Dumbass, I would have bought it. And that's exactly what I did here. This is a 77 millimeter UV filter. I didn't realize that I had this. I had this on my Sigma 24 to 70. And when I sold that, I pulled it off, but I had already bought 
that were for the 70 to 200. So now I ended up having an extra one. But I guess that's good since the dumb monkey drops shit once in a while. So that's that. So yeah, I'm glad that I didn't spend the money again on this thing because the shit ain't cheap. So we're good to go there. At this point now, I have whittled down my entire gear kit to a, a, a pretty bare minimum for me. I have this a7 IV and I have the a7R4. I have the holy trinity of G Master lenses plus a 20 millimeter, well, plus a 40 millimeter too. And I have the 105 Sigma, which is the last lens that I have that is not a Sony lens. But you know, every once in a while I'm contemplating with getting rid of it. And instead of having that 105, getting the 135 G Master, or getting the 50 millimeter 1.2, or the 35 millimeter 1.4, or the 85 that I was originally gonna get, ah! But when it gets right down to it, I ended up thinking to myself, okay, the A7R4, almost 90% of the time, has the 200 to 600 on it, because I'm out birding with it. I don't often take any other pictures other than that. This one, this A7 IV, always has the 16 to 35 on it, because that's what I film with. I haven't even put the 20 millimeter on this thing ever since I got this 16 to 35. I haven't done a lot of low light shooting, and that's what that would be for. I'm not gonna get rid of it, keeping it. At this point now, every lens that I have, with the exception of that Sigma 105, I'm not selling, because they're all amazing lenses, and I finally have them in my possession, and I'm good to go. Going forward, buying new cameras. I don't see that happening anytime soon either. At this point, I have the two cameras, the two main Sony full-frame cameras that I use for filming and for pictures. Don't need anything else. The other thing that I have is this RS. In addition to the original R, in addition to a GoPro 8, in addition to the Sony X3000. Probably never touch the X3000 again, because at this point it's miles behind what I currently have. The GoPro, I will keep it in its tiny little form factor and maybe occasionally throw it in my pocket and carry it around and do something with it, I don't know. Right now, this is the one that I've been using because now that they fixed all the shit that I hated, it's pretty good. So that's it. I have finally gotten my kit way down from what it was. Now, what else do I have that, that could go in the chopping block? This Ninja. I bought the Ninja when I was building out my Cinerig when I had my A6600. Well, I had two of them, but, but the one was built into a Cinerig and it never left this tripod. And I had the Ninja on there and it was amazing and ooh, ah, and all that kind of stuff. And I rarely ever took that thing out. That just sort of became something in my head that I thought would be cool to build. And it was, and it was great when I used it, but very much overkill for what I do and unnecessary because you don't run and gun with a Cinerig like that. At least I don't. Right now, the A7 IV is perfection for me. And anything else is this. But this is, will not be a main camera. This will be a to have to do fun, different shit. And that's it. So again, the only thing that I could ever see purchasing going forward in the future, short of catastrophic failure, I'm perfectly happy with these two cameras. But going forward, I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I'm not gonna buy anything else because we all know that's bullshit. I will wait and see what they come out with as far as the A7R5. And here's another mea culpa. I'm, again, I did used to say that who the hell needs, you know, 61 megapixels, it's just too much. You know, you're, you're gonna have to buy bigger hard drives, bigger cards and blah, 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 blah. And I stand corrected because the, you know, the 61 megapixels on that R4 are fantastic for wildlife, for birding which is what I'm totally into now, and anything else I don't care about. Since I don't keep all that footage and everything, I'm not worried about hard drives, but to be perfectly honest, I have so many external hard drives that it's stupid. And I have a drawer full now of SSDs, whether the, you know, it's like the little Samsung SSD, or one of the, uh, God, I don't even remember what the company is called, uh, let's see, I have another one of those that actually came with one of the lenses that I bought from the, the dirty A word, and I won't say their company name because I'm not giving them any publicity whatsoever. And you know, then I have a Seagate drive and I have a Western Digital drive and they're all like one terabyte. And, and then I started building those, those uh, the ones with the enclosures and everything. So I've got a couple of those in there too. So I've got a shit ton of, of hard drives if I need to do anything and they're all wicked lightning fast. So we're good to go. At this point, 
don't need anything. Just gonna be creating content and I'm having fun doing that and I'm enjoying all the interaction that I'm getting. If anything else comes up for sale, I'll be sure to let you all know first, but that's pretty much it. I just wanted to talk about how I just sold the a7C and don't get me wrong, that's not a bad camera. In fact, it's an amazing camera and I loved it. It's a, like a perfect YouTube run and gun filming camera. I just decided that I wanted something else and I love this R4, or not R4, I love this a7 IV, although I do love my R4. So that's all I've got for you now. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.